<laughs> I miss you guys too. <laughs> I heard yesterday this one. It okay. is, what is the worst thing you can hear after giving a blow job to Willie Nelson? Who, wait, who is Willie Nelson? Who is, yeah. Who's Willie Nelson? Yeah. That old country singer from from US. Uh, yeah. What was the worst thing? It's I am not Willie Nelson. <laughs> it's just that old man. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh man, we, we really did miss you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why classes have been shit so far. I was like, there's something not happening. <laughs> oh. It's great to Happy set one. the bar as low as possible. Yeah. <laughs> you can only get there. No? So the expectation's yeah. low. The, the joke, though, leaves you a, a good taste in the mouth. Oh. Um, <laughs> all right. So... Uh, I guess we can start, and, and if people add on, then we'll, we'll continue. Uh, everybody, this is Elian. Uh, Elian Chali, the, there you go, the gentleman with the glasses. Um, he is a dear friend. Uh, we've known each other for, for a few years. We coincide sporadically here and there. Um, but uh, somebody that, that I admire, um, that I, I got to hang out a bit with uh, in Argentina and in different places. But um, beyond uh, his work, which is amazing, and I'm sure you've all checked it, um, you did your homework, um, his uh, way of thinking, and I'm really happy to have him in the class and, and talk to us. Uh, I don't actually know how good Elian's English is, so we'll, we'll, we'll check it now with Elian, but I'm going to be translating as much as I, as I can and, and just uh, bear with us. Okay? You want to introduce yourself, Elian? Okay. Uh... Hello, everyone. I am with COVID right now, so <laughs> I feel a little bit sick uh, with a lot of moco. How do you say moco in English? Snacks. Snacks. That shit. Yeah. <laughs> so I will do my best, but you feel I am speaking as a confused people, please tell me. <laughs> and also, sorry for my shitty English. That's fine. Okay, uh, I am a big friend of Axel too. Um, he's a, a, a big reference for me, so it's a kind of honor uh, are talking with him uh, here and all of you. Um, my name is Elian Chali, uh, 32 years uh, from Cordoba, Argentina. Cordoba is the second city of the country, uh, one of the most rich, but also the more uh, poor uh, in cultural way, no? Uh, so it's crazy that that balance for a, a, a rich town, but in in US, I don't know if the, some of you are from US or everyone, I don't know, uh, you say, you, you see that, a lot of time. Um, okay, I'm a self-taught artist. I started around 15 years ago uh, with graffiti on the street as a lot of friends of mine. Um, and after the, the past, uh, the time go past, uh, I started to study, I don't know. Uh, I started to see some uh, specific things from art and specifically from street art and don't like anymore. So I started uh, to move a bit uh, specifically from the, the, the scene. How do you see, say, escena? Scene. Movement? The scene. The scene. Uh, you understand me? Please uh, say yeah, stop yeah. and... I'm surprised your English is better than I thought. <laughs> okay. um, so I started study philosophy, some uh, criticism, uh, some 
um, sociology theory, uh, and I started another way in my career. I don't like to say career for for my practice because career is a, a I don't know professional terminology, and I don't like to to say. Uh, I am a professional artist, you know. I think all all the categories uh, make closer the, the potential vision of the artist. Um, and now, 15 uh, years after, I am here with COVID, <laughs> talking uh, with, a, with a mirror, a black mirror, uh, with all of you. And I am open to to answer uh, all the all the questions that you have. Um, I don't know if you know my work, if Axel showed you before. Did we, you... I did, I shared uh, Instagram, but we can do screen share if there's something you wanna talk about, whatever. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Uh, let me see. Because I feel uh, like, um, like a long distance between my uh, discourse. How do you say discourse? Discourse. discourse. Yeah. Yeah. Discourse. Uh, uh, politic, political activists and uh, the result of my artworks. You know, and that is intentional, super intentional. So I want to talk about that in a specific. Uh, so for that point, I think it's important to show you. My last works, just give me a second. Please don't hesitate to row, to ask me whatever you want, please. Yeah, so the, the format uh, of the class, of the format of the, sorry, of the lecture, now we're not in class anymore, um, is uh, free. So we will have a Q&A at the very end, because you know, as we go through the lecture, we'll, we'll gather things that we want to ask. But uh, mm -hmm. please feel free to have it open as an open dialogue. It's, there's not too many of us to 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 do that. So, um, any questions you, you have, to, just go ahead. If you want to tell me about you, also, please feel free. I don't do know that. if everybody here is a painter or are learning to to be a painter. I don't know. So let's do uh, let's do introductions. Edgar, do you want to start? Just tell me, tell us, uh, you know, where you're from, what you do. Yeah, no problem. I am from uh, Portugal, near Spain, if you know. I am a tattoo artist and I also do paintings and I am uh, interested in painting and things like that. And your work is uh, amazing. Congrats. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, Sean, yeah. are you ready? You want to introduce yourself? To say who you are, yeah. where, you, where you are and what you do. How you doing, mate? I'm Sean. Uh, I'm from Scotland. I'm currently in Australia at the moment. Uh, love your work. Looks mad. I'm excited to hear all about it. Really cool. Uh, Antique? Yep, my name is Antique. Uh, I come from Kosovo and I'm mostly just finding my way through art. I basically do drawings, painting, uh, digital characters, Whatever, whatever that you can call art, in in a sense. I also write, but uh, I'm I'm trying to find my own focus. Really, indeed. Lauren. Okay. Uh, if you want, I can show. Hi, my name is Lauren. I'm from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> um, I'm learning how to paint accurately and well. That's all I really want to be able to do. Sounds good. Um, we'll, we'll do the introduction and then we go to your work, okay, Liam? Okay, I will Grace? show you. Let me check. Share screen. Hacemos, hacemos la introducción un segundito, Elian, y, y ahora vamos al, a, a tu trabajo, sí? Dale. Grace. Hi, I'm Grace. Um, I'm from the UK, uh, based in Lake, Lake District. Um, I do painting, drawing, um, yeah, just pretty much all I'm quite a creative person. Um, thanks so much for being here and giving us a lecture. 
Akeem. Perfect. Hello, I'm Akeem. Uh, I'm actually from Istanbul, currently living in Zurich. And I started to paint actually the last uh, lockdown. Uh, and with this group and through the teachings of the Excel, I fell in love with oil painting. So I want to go really deep into that. Awesome. <laughs> Natasha. Hi, uh, my name is Natasha. I'm from Russia, but I live in Miami and I'm trying to learn how to paint. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Natasha. Stefano, Teco, Teco. Hey, I'm from I'm Teco. I'm from Brazil, so neighbor. And um, I'm living in Berlin right now. And yet a lot of drawing and painting. Have a few graffiti pieces done that I, I really like to do, but I can't manage to do that many of them. And yeah, I joined the class around about a year ago and been painting more with oil and Yep, thanks a lot. Adrian. Uh, yeah, my name is Adrian. Uh, I'm also from Oregon here in the United States. Uh, I'm an oil painter. I usually do portraits, and I'm just trying to get, I guess, more meaning behind my work. Brilliant, Adrian. Adrian, do you and Lauren know each other? Not really, no. <laughs> No. No, we. I, I like. I usually shake hands with every single person I meet every time I move to a new state. But, um, I haven't shaken hands with every single person in Oregon yet. So, you should. You really <laughs> should. <laughs> Especially yeah. now, is a great moment. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do encourage if there's people because in London there was people in the same city for you to meet. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I think it'd be dope. Maybe I want to be able to. I want to be able to have houses to stay at all over the world, so everyone better be nice. <laughs> also, also. <laughs> Ashwin, last but not least. Hey, I'm Ashwin. I'm from India. Um, I'm trying to figure out uh, what I want to paint and what I want to communicate Brilliant. to my art. <laughs> all right, Elian, you ready? Okay. A mixed group, I really like it. Okay, I will show you now my Lotus Works. Let me check. Uh, can you see? Can you see well the, the pieces? Yeah, we can see good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I will talk about this work after. I will start in another part uh, because this is particular. Uh, was complete in one France around two months ago, but after. <laughs> okay. Um, as can you see here, uh, uh, my kind of style to paint is an um, abstract uh, primary color uh, basic shapes I am interested in create a kind of language uh, that can I use or can I articulate in all the surface uh, I mean for example this work uh, this wall uh, it's a brick wall. I don't know how to say, but it's a brick wall, brown wall. Uh, usually I don't prefer this kind of surface, but uh, in this case, the, the flat colors work well. Not in all the case work uh, the same, but in this case work well. Um, I am interested in the hard edge, uh, in the cleanest line, because like this the this effect as a digital effect you know uh, because you, you can see that don't have any gestural uh, human gestural you know uh, so it's it's a kind of machine you know so i like that for my process uh, because uh, normally uh, for my art uh, not for uh, all the art, but 
for my art specifically. I like that sensation that, um, what is this piece, no? For example, this is an hotel in a Tandil, a uh, town uh, near to Buenos Aires. Um, wh what is this piece? This is um, a marketing piece, it's a propaganda, it's a mural, it's decoration, uh, that hybrid sensation about the piece, I mean, all, all this lingua language we, we, you, you can find uh, historically in the uh, advertising, in the kids' toys, you know, uh, also in a modern uh, tradition of painting uh, in America, etc. So I like that uh, confused situation about the pieces. So the hard edge and the clean line, all the flat colors and that detail give me more uh, tools uh, to generate that confusion. You know what I mean? Uh, I am playing well. Super. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, in the, uh, in the, about this, uh, I am in the inverse way as all the painters, you know, because all the painters are trying to find uh, the identity in the gesture, you know, in, in, the, in the hand, in the, in the finish of the paint, you know. So in this case, I, I am focused in finding the, the identity in the strategy. I don't know. ¿Se entiende, Axel? Como yeah, yeah. Estoy, estoy interesado en, en, en encontrar la identidad en la estrategia, ¿no? Como... La estrategia, sí, sí. La estrategia, sí. Esta es otra pieza. Me gusta trabajar en una heritage arquitectura porque el contraste con el contexto y la superficie trabaja muy bien, ¿sabes? También porque si ves este tipo de arquitectura, puedes encontrar a Cartesian lines, you know, a vertical, horizontal, all the um, ornamento, como se dice en inglés? Ornaments. The ornaments. ornaments. And all the details of the facades. And when you work with a, a really plastic color, digital color, like a, a giant sticker, uh, the, the treatment that uh, received the, the facade is uh, really aggressive, but also uh, super innocent, you know? So that tension between innocent and aggressive, I really like it. Um, I mean, all, all this situation uh, are given for, for the language, no? Uh, the abstraction, the, the simplicity, uh, give me that, uh, that chance. Okay, this is uh, another piece in, in US, uh, in Boston, uh, the, the last year. I like uh, this uh, in particular because I am using the background to, to, to come to the front, I don't know how to say, but uh, I, I paint the background, you know, of the pieces, but not the background of the wall, you know. So here I, I am, an, interested again uh, more on the strategy of the pieces uh, than uh, the morphology you know because it's a really simple uh, piece I don't know how also here I use uh, an specific information the the, the street is green so I like that that kind of of play you know is super innocent but also like it uh, here is another piece, a new piece, uh, here in Córdoba. Uh, I, I took the direction of the tree, you know, and I pronounced with all the, the shapes and the lines to, to, to give the, the sensation of, of force, you know, so of movement. Um, as you can see, all the all the lines are super clean. I work with a with a theme, of course, uh, because I don't know if Axel told you, but I'm a disabled, uh, so I have some physical capacities uh, limited. So 
I started to work with a, with a team some five years ago. And I think this is a big uh, influence on my body of work, on my way of thinking, because if you need to delegate uh, uh, essential part of your work, you must be strategic so about uh, what a part of the of your work you will delegate you know so I started to think in another way to in in order to to make it possible uh, continue working in a in a big scale no uh, this is a a ceiling a ceiling is a ceiling yeah ceiling <clears throat> it's a kind of chapel yeah, Boveda. I don't know how you say it in English. Boveda. Uh, Boveda. Yeah. Well, you can see. Outside it. Uh, empathizing that that idea of of clean lines and and big shapes. That details, I think, are super important. You know, the the dialogue with the trees, the 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 street, the neighborhood, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because I think so, something important about street art and a lot of people don't uh, don't care about is the context, you know. Uh, you can see a lot of pieces on Instagram, on internet, uh, like a close shot, you know, uh, the, the, the only important is the, the piece, the, the, the artwork. And I think uh, one of the most important things in, in working on public space is the context, you know. So uh, when I work uh, uh, on a specific area uh, that is important, the, the environment, I try to take some, uh, some da uh, data and some some information that give me a, a, some aesthetic element, you know, to to develop the the piece. Because after at all, I'm not trying to say nothing with my pieces, you know. Uh, <laughs> this is a, a, a political incorrect, you know. But uh, normally the artists are trying to say this is uh, what I feel with the sensation of war, blah, 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 blah. And I'm not that kind of artist because I think and I understand the political activity in parallel of my uh, artistic practice. I mean, uh, I'm not interested in representing my pieces uh, um, on an explicit way, no? A, a kind of a political statement. I, I, am, I am focused uh, on a build or create an, an ethical way to uh, understand the artistic practice. I don't know if I am clear on it because it's super important. Axel, maybe you can help me. Yeah. I'm understanding what you're saying. I have questions. I'm 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 curious. Um, what what were the relation between your activism? I guess which is a little bit of your activism. What you consider activism, and what what it is that you want to maybe like move forward to or have as a goal, tener como meta. Um, and if there is a goal, and uh, what is the relation between your artwork and yeah. your activism? I I will say you in Spanish. And please translate. Para mí, a mí no me interesa para nada si un artista me muestra eh, una imagen política si en su vida cotidiana no tiene la misma actitud. ¿Se entiende? So, I'm, not, I'm not interested at all if an artist shows me a political image, if it's in, if it's in daily life, uh, they don't have a, the political attitude. Eh, para mí el ejemplo más claro es a mí no me interesa que seas el artista más político si se te mueren las plantas o tratas mal a tu perro eso es como 
la imagen clara para mí. Yeah, it's, uh, for me, I don't, I don't care if you're the most political artist, if afterwards your plants are dying or your, or your dog is dying, or you're not treating well your dog. Pienso, eh, think on eh, that kind of tradition of eh, modernist artists who eh, use a super abstract painting, for example, for example, eh, I, I forgot the name, this, this guy, black on black, what the, uh -huh. what the name of the painter, eh, Basarelli, no. Uh, a super ru Russian guy, uh, <laughs> painter, uh, who painted a, a black square on black uh, canvas. You know, uh -huh. you know what I mean? No, I'm not familiar. Okay, uh, don't, don't care. Um, and I think, okay, that image don't have a political content, but the, the operation uh, is super political. I don't know. Uh, I think the the case of the case of uh, oh, El Mingitorio, uh, Duchamp, the Duchamp. The, the Duchamp uh, shit. I don't know the name. Uh -huh. What the name of that that thing? Uh, the urinal. The urinal. Uh, yeah. uh, if you see the urinal of Duchamp, it's not an aesthetic. Uh, I don't know, operation, it's not an aesthetic strategy, but it's a super political strategy, more in that context, no? So uh -huh. I am focused on that kind of, of strategy, no? And trying to, to give a, a not super obvious political uh, statement about the art, because I think the art got the capacity of I don't know, live alone, you know, uh, it's autonomous. I don't know how to say. Uh, yeah. uh, and I, I, I can give a lot of uh, examples about uh, artists who are trying to, to push uh, the, the art uh, to an, a political statement. This shit of artivism also, I don't like, you know. Uh, <laughs> So, for example, for example, uh, the the art of Banksy usually I don't like, no, because I don't feel uh, I don't know, no, no, I don't feel like a, a magic trick, you know. Uh, but the strategy of Banksy are amazing, you know. Uh -huh. So. Um, what 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 is happening here? Maybe I'm not the public of Banksy, you know. Maybe the the Banksy public is uh, another people. I don't know. Uh, uh, but I, as an artist, I can see uh, what is trying, no? Uh, he and his team. So um, sometimes you, maybe you don't feel. Um, comfortable with some pieces and own pieces or pieces of other artists uh, but the strategy can be super exploded for example another artist that i like so much is no hope no yeah. i don't know if some of you know adam adam yuketeli no okay he's a big, big friend of us before i met Hey, Adam, uh, to be honest, I, I saw his piece and I like it. I don't understand, super naive, super, you know. Uh, but after I know him and also uh, his strategies, I understand all his universe, you know. So sometimes uh, the first impression of some artists or some pieces are, I, are done super... Uh, you you don't feel super I don't know enchanted or, or something like that, but up, after at all, after at all you can see what uh, these artists are trying. Why I am think uh, why I think this is important because uh, I think all the artists we are super super obsessive of the control super. 
I don't, I, I'm, I mean, uh, yeah, super freak. Uh, and sometimes uh, the artist is trying to do something, I don't know, this uh, with the, all the details. And what happened around uh, his head is powerful than the final result, you know? So uh, I'm talking this because I am super obsessive and uh, with the control and that. that. And I think it's important try to live, you no, know? try to keep the, the 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 thing flow. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if I am clear with this. I'm I'm understanding it. Do do you all understand? Yeah, absolutely. Ask whatever you want. Thank you. For example, this piece. I I I will show you something of this piece. This piece is in Rouen, France, around two months ago. Um, and this is the first piece that I made uh, via WhatsApp. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> usually I, I work with, uh, with a team, uh, with my own team here in Argentina, by, with assistants. Uh, but if I can't travel with, with them, uh, usually I, I work with a local team. So when, I, when we started the, the process to travel and the flights and da da da, um, in France uh, happened a super lockdown, impossible to travel. Uh, also in Argentina, the, the thing was uh, pretty strange. So we decided to cancel the flight, of course, but uh, the organizer and I, uh, we felt super motivated to, m to make the piece. So uh, I proposed, uh, I proposed him uh, to continue with the process, but with the local, with the local guy. Uh, so I made a, a kind of layout of step by step uh, to make the piece uh, with without me there. So. Uh, they sent me pictures uh, from an hour, you know, uh, on the process and asked me an, a specific question about the lines, uh, the process, and da, da, da. And I felt uh, very well about this because I continue uh, my sensation as a painter because I think I have an... Uh, pictoric structure or pictoric way to think. So yeah. I, I, I lost here uh, my strategy. I think no. Uh, my also ausencia, como se dice? Ausence. My ausence uh, give to the piece another way, you know? So to be honest, uh, as first impression was a pretty strange, no? Because I feel like, um, come on, it's too much. But after at all, I think the the strategy remain me. I don't know if you know Sol Lewis, an yeah. American painter. Um, for me, it's a super big reference, of course. He made in the sixties or fifties, I don't know, a long time ago. Uh, he sent a uh, he sold sorry in in the galleries, a, a box with instructions to make a pieces in your own house, you know? So I think uh, something of this uh, strategy or methodology uh, remind me to, to that, you know? So I feel how all uh, start to connect uh, with everything. And on this case, I think it's a good way to, um, to continue some activity in the worst situation ever as a pandemic, no? Yeah. So for that point, I think this, this is important to me. And let me ask you, um, what were the literal connection uh, in terms, if there is any, between your activism or your ideology or your thinking and this piece be? Because I, I make a lot of uh i think assumptions i think that's the game no it's like huh is this on purpose maybe 
for example, the, the fact that the houses are connecting the same as the, the circle is like two different houses that all of a sudden become part of one. Uh, the fact that there's, you know, the, the stop sign inside of the red, but is not painted and then it has the, the bicycle lane. Yeah. And then the other, the other sign, the back of the other sign is right in, in, in the intersection and it's all painted also. As well as the use yeah. of black, I feel like black is a, a specific uh, color for you that, that some, like on the other wall it divides. Yeah. But what, what would be the connection for you, like, if you were to explain it to like a child, be like, this is what it, what it is, you know? This is the effect of the overlapping pieces, the red with the blue, of course, but on digital way to see. I mean, yeah. if, you, if you mix red and blue, of course, you don't, you don't have a, a pure black, no? But um, I think the more, the, uh, you can see here the, the cleanest uh, house. I think the effect of, of the anamorphic piece, you know, the, is the, uh, the most important is you need to find the specific point to see the pieces, you know? In this case, uh, this point, you know? Uh, where, from where are you seeing the, the house um, and, and then I like the uh, the involved effect you know uh, that don't matter the, the canvas I mean you have uh, the, the roof you have uh, all the fences uh, the the sheet the, the, <laughs> the cartel the cartel the uh -huh. uh, street signs, you know, uh -huh. um, all the all the <coughs> all the, all the shit. <laughs> uh, so I I like that uh, involved effect, you know. All, only with paint you can give a, a sensation of a new space. So in this case, the the abstraction, I think it's a very generous uh, language. I don't know how to say. Uh, but only with with some some decision like the the color and the shapes, it's enough to generate a new space. So I think uh, that is super super powerful from this yeah. language. Uh, and also, me preguntaste sobre la mezcla entre los activismos y la pintura al principio. Uh -huh. Yeah. Con, lo voy a decir en español. Vale, me dice. Sorry, guys, I'm talking shit about you. No, <laughs> talking, talking. I'll translate literally. Uh, yeah. Um, yo dejo que la pintura haga su tarea. I leave, I leave the paint do its job. Uh, mi vida es la misma que contiene los activismos de las personas con discapacidad, la pintura, mis vínculos sexuales, mi relación con los animales y todo lo que me rodea. Uh, my life is the same as contains uh, activism with uh, the people with uh, uh, discapacidades. Um, Disabled my, my, with what? Disabled. Disabledness. Um, my, my sexual life, my relationship with animals. I mean, I'm not focused in mix every, all, all these things all the time, you know? I mean, when I am uh, doing sex on my bed or kitchen, uh, cooking on my kitchen, I'm not thinking in the colors, you know? Uh, I'm not that kind of artist who, who are trying to mix everything all the time, also with my clothes, also with my attitude, you know? I mean, uh, my, my body is a kind of vector who felt everything, but it's not necessary to uh, expose everything all the time because uh, the, my intimacy, intimacy, okay? Intimacy, intimacy. In, in time it, uh, it's important not only on my bed, you know what I mean? It's on, uh, also important with my art, uh, artistical practice. It's also important uh, 
with my relations because I mean uh, that kind of artist who uh, trying to expose all the time the a perfect uh, statement of his life. I feel like I I don't like you know because come on relax the the life is more controversial you know the the life is is more uh, contradictory so if you try to to be a super uh, straight uh, with your statement all the, all the time in your life you will feel the your first flow you know what I mean? you know what i mean you understand yeah. what i mean yeah, yeah it's sure. perfect. Eh, entonces vuelvo, vuelvo a español. Mi pintura no está como, como preocupada por eh, representar eh, cuestiones de mi activismo político, porque yo siento que mi activismo político lo llevo adelante, por ejemplo, cuando lucho por las condiciones de trabajo, cada vez que viajo, eh, ayudo a, a personas, colegas, ¿no? Eh, cuando genero espacios eh, de producción, vos sabés muy bien de eso, Axel, que van por, por fuera de la norma, ¿no? que, 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 que participo de cosas que, que no son las del poder. ¿no? Entonces, me parece que hay muchas instancias. You have a lot. Ah, perdón. Well, I'll translate. So, <laughs> so, my painting is not worried about uh, my political activism because it occurs in the process. It occurs when I fight for the rights of, uh, of uh, the artist or the worker uh, while I'm working in the conditions. Uh, it occurs when I try to encourage uh, my team uh, to do also work with me and when I transform a space. Uh, and it, I, it also uh, happens, it, or it occurs when um, I create a, a group of people or I, or I create a situation where a group of people um, are working together and there's some sense of a community. I mean, you have a lot of instance to expose your political way to see the world, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. The way to you use Instagram, for example, is a super political statement. Uh, I mean, maybe your work uh, don't need that kind of discussion, you know? Because maybe your work uh, operate or uh, I don't know. It, I think sometimes it's good to to separate, and sometimes it's good to mix. But uh, if you don't have that exercise to give and back, give and back, uh, you will die because uh, it's impossible to think um, a perfect line of your ethic in your life because. Uh, we are a contradictory people at the yeah, 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 yeah. Is the, the I don't know. For example, a, a, a wood painter, I love it, Caravaggio. I don't know if you are studying Caravaggio, but uh, 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 Caravaggio killed two people. <laughs> you know that? Yeah. And what what we think about the the murder? We We don't like the murder, of course. But Caravaggio killed two people. So, what I mm, uh, need to think about this? Come on, Caravaggio is a super, super, super big master. So, uh, it's important for me the the life of two strong people. Come on, <laughs> no matter, you know, Caravaggio is Caravaggio. I don't know. Uh, and if you see all the um, the history of art you can you can find a lot of this this kind of of situation that the artist uh, the relation of the artist with the world is a super tension relationship no so so let me I, let me let uh, let me let you ask the questions um what do you class what do you think about so far what we have uh, what what we've spoken about and do you have any questions for Eliane? I'm sure you have. I have to do this because you're shy. I know you're shy, but just, just go with it. Um, I wanted to ask how you go about like scouting for a spot or finding a spot. Like, do you 
like find them out in the world or like is there a system for it that you have? ¿Entendiste? ¿Cómo, cómo? Eh, ¿Los spots? Que, que sí, que, está, que, que se pregunta cómo buscas o encuentras estos sitios, si hay algún sistema, si vas como buscando por el mundo, como aquí quiero trabajar o, o, o cómo funciona. Perfecto, lo, lo había entendido. Usually, eh, when some project show me some wall, I prefer the other wall. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, I say always, can you give me a street view address? And I check it and always, always, it's a kind of rule. I like the other wall, you know, um, because normally I don't like the, the normal parquet. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se dice medianera? The normal building, you know, so a super... Sorry. What? Facade. Es, es como facade, pero se pronuncia facade. Yes. Facade. Um, uh, usually, I prefer uh, some tricky, tricky space, you know, with windows, with doors, or shitty space. So, sometimes it's easier to find this kind of walls than a big facade in the middle of the cities. So when I started a dialogue with the project that I, are inviting me to do something in some part of the world, I try to, to, to give these sentences to, to, in order to find the best way to, to make the piece. Because I think I am the best to find the best way, the, the best surface, of course, because I am the owner of my work, you know? So I think that that instance, the, the, the first dialogue, I understand as a curatorial dialogue, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, right. yeah. Um, so I, I, I put a special focus on that first dialogue. In some time is, uh, you cannot uh, choose the, the wall uh, and sometimes I prefer don't work in that kind of area because some uh, sometimes the, the blank canvas, I mean a canvas or building or whatever, I feel boring, you know, because I don't have nothing to do there. So the, the first dialogue, the initial dialogue, for me, it, it's super important. Uh, That's awesome. Uh, do you have more questions? I have one question, if I can. Yeah. Um, what makes you uh, want to paint uh, mostly on the street? Like your work is mostly uh, outside. So what makes you want to do that? Why do you do that on the street? I think my, my Latin American reality make a big effect of my body of work because here in South America, and specifically in Argentina, we have a long tradition to be on the street, you know, uh, in manifestation, uh, in some celebrations, uh, also eating on the street with the family, you know. I, so I think the, the, this effect of uh, be on the street all the time, uh, some it's a super strong characteristic in Latin America. If you see Brazil, for example, it's it's incredible. The people do everything in the street. Um, give me some tools to to think the the city. Also, um, I think it's a common answer, but uh, the cultural institutions uh, around the world uh, go. Uh, slower than I prefer, so I I have more uh, necessities of work than uh, opportunity in museums. And I mean, when when I started, no, uh, now I, now I'm working more on galleries and museum than on the street, police. <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> but after at all, I think this effect is super important. Also because um, I think work on the street, uh, uh, more in Latin America, is a super political statement. 
You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, if you are working in, I don't know, in Europe, also it's a political statement, but uh, occupy the street here is uh, necessary, you know? So I think I mix all these things with something super important. My body, my body, my old body, is posted on the street working alone or with my team. Uh, it's a kind of performatic experience, you know, uh, because uh, as a disabled uh, guy, uh, Occupy the street is all is always um, denied, uh, right? I don't know. How. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So the effect of uh, occupy the street working uh, generate a kind of relation with the with the viewers, with the the people who are working uh, around there. Uh, that is super powerful, you know. Axel can tell told you because he he lived this situation with me a lot of times so um, i think that is important also for my uh, own experience with art you know uh, what what's happened with when i am exposed no uh, in the more essential way to understand the the position uh, in in contrast with the studio experience, you know, you know because mm -hmm. in the studio experience, you, you feel super, how do you say, aislado? Isolated? Isolated. 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 Uh, you feel isolated. Uh, you, you can have um, all the process. I mean, you can, you can fail inside the studio. And when you are working on the street, the experience of fail is quite different, no? So all these things uh, mixed, I think is the is the way is the is the point that I use the, the street or prefer the street. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank um, you. Do you have a do you have any any other question? More questions? Hey Joe, can I ask something? Go for it. Um, so we were talking a lot about activism and I feel like it's a very um, a broad term when it comes to abstract art. And you also mentioned the black square and there are a lot of arguments about what this painting might actually mean. So I was just curious um, what it means to you and how you see it as a piece that's connected to the, to the activism. Axel, me, me lo traduce yeah. un poco. So, estamos hablando mucho sobre el, artivi el, el activismo. Uy, ya casi me salió. Uh, y le daba curiosidad eh, saber eh, sobre el, el cuadrado negro, que de hecho, eh, ella creo que ha escrito el nombre de... Es Malevich. Casi... Malevich. Malevich, Malevich. 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 Sorry, um... sorry. <ríe> y... y um... Hay mucha como controversia sobre qué significa este cuadro negro y le da curiosidad uh, saber qué significa para ti. I think for me it's nothing, you know. It's the 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 basic statement about a square on a canvas because I think uh, the, the the most important is not the piece, the result, what are you seeing, you know. The most important is what the artist decide to do that square on square, you know? What I mean? Uh -huh. uh, it, it, it's not a, a, no una preocupación pictórica. No sé cómo decirlo en inglés. It's not a pictorial uh, worry or a pictorial endeavor. Issues, I don't know. Uh, es es una, una, una declaración de principios frente al circuito del arte, a la cultura, a la historia, ¿no? Es una declaración de principios contra el mundo del arte, el mercado y la cultura. The same happened with the urinal of Duchamp, you know, it's, it's not about the, the way to understand the aesthetic strategy, 
is about uh, what uh, he think about the saloon, you know? Uh, everybody there uh, bring a, a kind of sculpture, uh, I don't know, ceramic, uh, bronze, da 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 and he bring a urinal from the bathroom, you know? So that strategy is not about uh, the movement from the bathroom to the saloon. It's about what he think about the saloon, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, today we can find, uh, I mean, the contemporary art made this strategy, uh, this operation as all the body of things, you know? Um, so we, we can see a lot of these. For example, you know, Matthias Palbaken, I will write here. Matthias Palbaken, I don't know from where he is, but he, his work is amazing. Please check it. He worked with a normal furniture, you know, chairs, uh, I don't know the name of this. Uh, and he destroyed and uh, modify and sometimes uh, do some some uh, super simple strategies from that and make a lot of uh, poetic situations. So uh -huh. now, if you see all the the I don't know uh, contemporary art website or exhibition, you can see a lot of, of these uh, strategies, no? So uh, I think the, the square on square is, is the beginning, is the in, uh, opening of this, this way to think the art, no? Yeah. Difficult to think with, the, with painting, you know, because we, we can see a lot of painters who put all the life, uh, the focus, on make the perfect trace, you know? Uh, and some artists make a, <laughs> a, a, a cosa de trash y, yeah. y make an in <laughs> incredible art, no? But I don't know, it, the, the world is too big to understand one way to see the art, no? Yeah, beautiful. Um... I want to ask for permission before uh, we continue because we are over our, our hour, but I think an hour for me at least is short and I'm enjoying it very much. So Eliane, is it okay for you to continue a little longer? Yeah, no problem yeah. for me. All right, and, and if class needs to, needs to go, if anybody needs to go, that's, that's fine. Uh, whoever wants to remain can remain. Again, you have a question. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, actually I have two questions. Um, I will try also with my shitty English to explain this. Um, the first is like, I, um, I actually grew up in Istanbul and, and there are lots, many artists are like, um, they're also um, in activism, even if it's like visual arts or music, but they pay a really high price for what they do. So if you, if you like write the wrong lyrics, like you're like, you have two years jail and many of my friends had, uh, had um, during the, I don't know if you heard about this, Gezi protests in Istanbul, they, they really went to jail and they never come out. And so what's your uh, view on this? Is it, uh, um, on one hand, it looks very uh, hero heroic, you know, to do something like this. And the other hand, is it really worth to go so long in jail to make a visual art or a song? So I would love to know what you think about this. Spicy. Lo entendí más o menos. Me me traduce una parte. Sí, eh, básicamente tiene los amigos que fueron a la cárcel por por hacer arte eh, con contenido activista o político, porque en Istanbul, bueno, hay esa en, en Turquía hay esa situación, ¿no? Eh, y está preguntando si que entiende el motivo, pero está preguntando hasta qué punto merece la pena o es relevante o te parece importante eh, sacrificar años de cárcel uh, por, por hacer este tipo de, de arte y, y dónde, dónde está la línea, ¿no? Eh, I, I think you need to find the balance, ¿no? Eh, the balance, uh, eh, 
that you feel better with that balance. You know what I mean? Uh, Sometimes you 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 don't have the capacity to make that balance, and you feel uh, super angry about some situation. And the only solution is is make some song or painting about that. You know, some context uh, San Istanbul, of course, are a um, quite difficult in comparison with Latin America that here the, the reality don't ayúdame con, con esta parte acá en Latinoamérica eh, al Estado no le importa el arte porque está tan tan preocupado en otra parte que, que, que bueno los artistas son tienen libre expresión el tema es que acá los problemas son otros ¿no? entonces yo creo que ese balance tiene que ver con cuál es tu verdadera necesidad política y, cuál, y cómo es la forma que la puedes expresar. Yo creo que, que nada merece la cárcel. Creo que la cárcel no tiene que existir más, ¿no? Es sí. una posición que tengo acá y en el mundo, ¿no? So, there, in Latin, Latin America, um, there's a different reality, different situation. The government is more so worried about other things, so art doesn't uh, really is not relevant to them they, they don't care what the artist is doing for the good and for the bad um and uh and the people and the the art uh, the activism and the art becomes different like the the intentions and everything else is different and uh he, he's just saying that uh, ideologically he's against uh jail houses he's against uh, the notion of like incarcerating a person for anything uh, so yeah that's his statement in una cosita más. Eh, sin duda, eh, los contextos influyen, ¿no? Entonces, ahí, ahí te das cuenta cómo, cómo influye un contexto a la libre expresión, ¿no? Como hay contextos en los que ser un artista político es muchísimo más cómodo y muchísimo más fácil que otros, ¿no? Entonces, eh, ahí te da vuelta la importancia del contexto, digo, más allá de la globalización, que es esa cosa que nos está destruyendo a todos. Eh, hay realidades locales que te permiten o no te permiten a, a cosas, ¿no? Y que creo que hay que tratar de, de focalizarse en eso, cómo, cómo opera ese contexto en, en, en la obra propia. So, beyond globalization, that, that uh, he says is, is destroying everything that he's against, um, there is a local context which uh, allows you or permits you uh to focus on how the environment is uh, developing and and what specifically you can or should do in your local context so he's saying that we should take everything locally rather and and think of uh what what is the best decision to do here or there because uh depending on where you are it's really easy to be an activist in some areas in which uh you know there isn't so so much of a repression or of a or, or of a contradiction or or an answer towards it Um, but in other areas, there, there are consequences. So going back to those local contexts. Yeah. Um, be, careful, be careful, be <laughs> careful. Yeah, don't go to jail, please. <laughs> please be careful. Um, so, unless you want to go to jail. Um, so I have a question for you, Elian. I really like, something that I really like about you uh, throughout, you know, uh, the years is your playfulness and I, I wouldn't really know how to categorize it and I, I don't think we should but uh, I think uh, one thing that that uh, that uh, I think is great about you is how you merge and 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 bend the moral lines you know the the ethical lines for you there are, uh, I think they're like in different places and you like to go in and out of them Um, also your, your relationship with, with punk, which, uh, I think we, we had a conversation about that, how it was a bit of your origins and what that residual, uh, left with you or how, how it still stays. And I feel like, um, I see it and maybe I'm like over reading, you know, but I feel like I see it in your work. Uh, like in the picture that you, that you sent me, uh, of, uh, the people laughing at you. Uh, so it was a photo, I think in a, in a junkyard or something like that uh of these two guys that were just like laughing at at Elian, uh because of a disability and uh Elian took a picture of them uh and and i think the picture is really is really <laughs> brilliant 
because it is kind of like a, to me, it's like a mirror, you know, it's like a mirror of, of society, like looking at itself um, and how just the angle of that picture, Elian being shorter and, and the, the attitude of the, of the guys almost like says, says everything. And, and maybe like in your work, it, at first, I, I have that thing that I think you had with uh, No Hope, whereas like your work is very, uh, to the naked eye, is very innocent, right? It's very like uh, subtle. And it's like, oh, how nice, you know? It's like a play, like art art, right? Which I actually, I hate art art. Um, when, when, it's, when it's for the end of just, you know, an optical illusion, it's like, yay, you know, magic. But um, I think your work, kind of plays with that contradiction i think and I'm, and i'm and i'm asking i guess it has this like playful contradiction where it's like the same way that through your operations you've been like you know stabbed pretty much or like uh like beamed through to 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 be stitched together you in a similar way or like also mirroring that back to the world and saying well this is like a digital rendering of this, this is what you like, you know, this is what you enjoy. And this is how I'm transforming your space, uh, the same w way that the world has transformed uh, me, maybe. So how do you feel about that, that playfulness and about what I said? Me, lo, me perdí un poco en la, la, de la parte de la mirada. Perdona, sí, que digo, súper rápido. Um, no, no, pues, hablando hablando de, de, bueno, de, la, de esa fotografía, también de, de un poco como el mundo, o, o, o tu trabajo es como una especie de, de, de juego contradictorio de esta estética que es como muy digital, eh, el op art que parece como sin contenido y lo estás devolviendo o transformando con algo que parece que tiene una metáfora muy dura, pues incluso desde la, las operaciones que has tenido, con, la, con las cosas como atravesándote o, o, o agarrándote de alguna manera y tú haces eso mismo o lo traduces, no literalmente solo esto, pero sino tu ideología, tu manera de ver el mundo, la, la traduces como una especie de, de confrontación eh, al, al espacio y al contexto, ¿no? Bien. Eh, bueno. It's interesting how do you eh, talk about my background eh, from when I was child, because I grow up as same as you, uh, with squats, uh, in squats, in punk movement, you know? And when I started to use the abstractions as the brightness colors and simple shapes and that things, I felt, come on, this is not enough punk for my way to see the life, you know? So this is too naive. So I feel like uh, in some, in, in, uh, interior tension, you know, uh, don't feel uh, sure about that. So when, when I started to work on the language, I found that the, the only way to be punk in the life is not with a mohawk and a leather jacket, you know? Some, sometimes yeah, with the silence, you can be super, super punk. So um, uh, I think uh, that uh, was super, super important for me uh, uh, in the past because I understand uh, that I can uh, keep my attitude uh, uh, with the world uh, independent that uh, my result are not super darkness, you know what I mean? So um, I started to put uh, my attention in another poetic, in another, uh, some uh, vibrations, low frequency, you know what I mean? Not, uh, not on, only in the obvious uh, things of, of my life, Also, uh, I started to understand my body and my life uh, in context in another way. If you want, I can show you something super, super new, but important for me. It's a selection of a picture that I took in, on the street. Uh, I am working on a book for that, but I mean, 
these pictures uh, 10 years ago was impossible to do for me. Now are part of my body of work and I will show you. And uh, maybe you under, you will understand me. Wait. Um, I mean, this is nothing uh, in relation the paintings, you know what I mean? But yeah. are part of my obsessions, I don't know. Uh, Chef Queen. People seeing me on the street and laughing. Ah, oh, no, sorry, it's not. I want, uh, wait, wait. This. Okay. I mean, maybe you, you see a, a simple uh, portrait of people, but this situation, all this situation in specifically are super hard for me because it's people laughing at me, you know? Sometimes better, sometimes more aggressive. If you see the, the eyes of all the kids. Yeah. Very cool though, it's like they're looking at you and you're looking at them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you take a picture of them too, it's like... Mm. They caught you. Yeah. Of course, without permission, no? Super, super fast. Yeah. I mean, did, look, this girl there, can't believe it. What is that? It's a, a small man. What, what is it's a it's a big kid. You can't <laughs> understand it. You know what I mean? Look yeah. this guy, poor neck. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the situations are very, very hard. And the people who are working with me always suffer a lot with this, you know, because the La mirada is... Uh -huh. I mean, 10 years ago was impossible, this picture for me, because I really suffer the situation now on the street. What happened uh, between 10 years ago and now on my head to understand this? I accept my body. I accepted my body always, but what happened? I think the art is part of that imagination, you know? I, Tell us about that. There. That's a great question that you ask yourself. Uh, what, what, I feel like that's inspiring. No, what, what uh, makes, oh wow. What makes, um, sorry? Yeah, what brings that change? What, what happened? When did I meet you? I met you more than 10 years? No, not more than 10 years ago, no? Oh yeah, more than 10 years ago. Hace cuánto te conocí? Ponele, estamos 2021, maybe yes, maybe 9, 8. Yeah, like that. So I, so, I got good you now. Yeah. Because for me, I always saw you as like, I don't know, I'm not trying to butter you up, but I always saw you as like the, the closest example of like Nietzsche and Superman, you know? Of this, uh, this uh, playful uh way of seeing the world and just like processing everything and accepting everything and like transforming it but uh i guess i met you after those uh those 10 years so what what is um what do you think uh happened with art or what is what well, you just asked yourself uh what, what was the shift not sure not sure what happened there because if i try to understand uh, my what happened with my head uh, in relation with art I all my answers are too obvious, you know, 
to vulgar. I don't know if in English no. vulgar the, it's the same. Uh, so, um, to be what honest, did you used I to pay? What happened? What? So, what did you used to paint before you started painting with colors and abstract? ¿Qué, qué pintabas antes de, de hacer abstracto y cosas así? Graffiti, traditional sí, graffiti. Sí, sí. I started to abstract the graffiti, graffiti pieces. The, the first thing I I feel super tired of my name, you know, I say, ah, come on, I can't read my name in the city more, please, come on. Oh. <laughs> and after I, I felt tired also of the aesthetic result, you know, I feel, uh -huh. come on, super, too obvious. Uh, also, also because uh, in Cordoba, we don't have a, a long tradition of graffiti, you know, So my graffiti everywhere, I felt like, come on, stop, quit. I, also because the, um, the elections, uh, how do you say uh, political propaganda in English? Political propaganda is okay? Political propaganda, yeah. yeah. In Latin America, it's legal, the political propaganda painted uh, on the street, no? It's incredible, but it's still legal. So um, I remember an, a specific election, uh, a politician from here from Cordoba painted all the fucking city with his name. And I said, come on, I don't want to be a, a political, you know? So I, I say, come on, quit. And started to understand another language, uh, another way to see the, the street, uh, another kind of strategy. Because I, I don't study art. Uh, I don't, never study in school of art. I'm a soft dog. Uh, I mean, soft dog is related because I learn with all my teachers around me, my colleagues, my friends, my family. Um, so I started to work on this kind of language, abstraction, geometry, and I am here, you know? Mm -hmm. Sure. So, uh, we're going to do five more minutes. So, more questions. Yes, please. please. <laughs> um, uh, I have a question to the way how you um, observe the world or, um, or think, because I had also an experience. I worked with two and a half years with disabled people, and I was like assisting them to make uh, sculptures. So I was, they were giving me instructions, I was doing the sculptures for them. And I was so Amazing. surprised to, um, to see how they were very precise and they, they really taught all the, um, uh, how do you say, uh, all, all the steps. They, they, they really thought about it like five times more <laughs> uh, than a normal person, you know, sometimes. Um, and I was, I was really uh, surprised And they were like very critical about the result also. So we, we have to do it over and over again. So I want to know how you, is this something from the childhood that you start to observe your surrounding much, much more, much intense? Or is it, I don't know how to ask it to you. <laughs> um, why is this so different to a normal person? Is it like disorientation or what is this? <laughs> Me repetí la pregunta, Axel, que no lo entendí. I understand everything, less the question, yeah, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry about my English too. <laughs> um, ¿Por qué es tan difícil, uh, o por qué es tan diferente, perdona, eh, para, o, o qué es lo que hace que sea tan diferente para una persona con discapacidad? Creo que no solo está hablando de lo obvio, uh, sino en general, ¿no? Como el, el concepto de por qué es tan diferente. Sí, sí lo es. I think because um, the world is full of shitty people, you know, and some difference are more cool for the political agenda in the moment than the other ones. For example, if if for if I am, um, if I was. 
Come on. If I was, if I was. If I was a trans guy, the situation of course is super, super, super different. If, uh, also with the black people, you know? I mean, if you see the ad review more influential people from two days ago, the first, 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 the number one is Black Lives Matter, you know? What the fuck? Art Review is the fucking enemy, you know? It's the market, it's Sotheby's, it's the Tate Modern, it's MoMA, it's the, the I don't know, it's the money, it's the capitalist, you know? If, uh, if the list of uh, Art Review more influential people from the art, the first is Black Lives Matter, Black Ma Lives Matter, uh, need to reflect about that, you know what I mean? Uh, so sometimes that the agendas uh, control everything, and the disabled people is never on on the agenda. I don't know why, because for example, oh. the crazy people, no? Uh, if you see the history of art, it's related directly with with art, you know? Crazy artist is uh, obvious relation of all the story. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a kind of contradiction because the disabled people never have a, a, some Boy. space on that agenda, no? So luckily for the black people or for trans people, the moment is now and hope they can find a work, they can find a uh, Vida digna, how do you say dig uh, dignified life? life? Dignified life. Dignified life, but for not, uh, at the moment, not our time. But I'm not worried about that because if, if the, if, if, if I have the, the, the moment, if it's only the moment for me, it's a kind of exception. And I think the the change is not for all the the group of people. It's not for every for nobody. I don't know how to say. For everybody, yeah. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Uh, no? uh, huh? Sí, super. Me, me, me encantó. Um, what what other what other questions? Uh, I think uh, Antique had one. Grace had one. Antique, go for it. Okay, so I kind of wanted to connect with what we were talking about earlier, that it's not as much about the piece, the final piece is that it's the aura of the artist, you know, the energy that he puts on it and his ceramics. So how would you describe doing a mural on, on, on the streets where most of the people that are going to see it will not know the artist? Like uh, during the times when you see an artwork and you like it, and then you personally know the artist, that artwork is miles better for you. It makes sense to you. So how would you describe that when most of the people that uh, will see your work do not know you, do not know your intimacy, your, your, uh, your personal views, political views, if you got any, which you do. So yeah, that is the question. Like, do you expect them to, 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 to know it? To, to feel the artwork in the same way or not? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, you need translation? Please. Um, eh, la mayoría de la gente que ve tu obra en la calle o la obra de un artista en la calle no va a conocer al artista. Eh, y cuando tú dices que la relación de cuando conoces al artista se vuelve muy distinta y como crece y, y, y el, el, la interacción es muy distinta, ¿no? Pero cuando no conoces al artista, um, ¿cómo, ¿cómo describirías esa relación eh, y cómo puede hacer la conexión la persona que lo ve con, con el artista? Porque dices que es importante esa, esa conexión, que la obra no es tan importante, ¿no? Lo primero que he dicho es que la obra no es tan importante, sino que lo, lo importante es eh, cómo lo concibe, la concepción, el proceso, todo, ¿no? Entonces, para la gente que no es parte de eso, ¿cómo, qué hacen? ¿Cómo lo, cómo lo ves? No sé cómo puedes traducir esto, pero es importante que lo traduzcas lo mejor que puedas. Vale. La lectura, la lectura está en el lector. The, the reading is in the reader. 
You know what I mean? So I think um, we have a lot of instance to, to meet the people. I don't know, some, sometimes uh, somebody see my work on the street and work me, uh, uh, write me on Instagram. Sometimes uh, the process is uh, write me on Instagram and after seeing my work on the street and after at all, you cannot, uh, no puedes abarcar a todo el mundo. You cannot impress uh, everybody. Uh, so I think the, the most important is try to make the effort to give uh, the autonomy on, uh, on the piece, you know? Uh, so sometimes, come on, with Axel, we, we, we felt this a lot of times. We make a piece in a super strange part of the world and never go back again there. But what? can you do on that 10 days? What can you do after? No, what can you do before? Uh, I mean, after the toy with that, what happened with the, with the canvas, no? Uh, you, you made a canvas for an exhibition in another part of the world and you never see the people who leave the, the piece, but that people, if are interested uh, on your work, it can find you on on internet and ask about that. The problem is the 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 world moves so fast, you know, and the the reality is <laughs> really violent compared art, you know. Yeah. So, uh, what can we do to keep that uh, link that yeah. relation, you know? It's a big challenge. Um, yeah. Great question, great answer. Uh, Grace, you had a question, right? Oh, you didn't. Oh, okay, okay. Who else has a question? I was going to ask another one. Um, what books were you studying? Um, what you said you studied, you were reading things like psychology and that kind of stuff. What, what books, any recommendations you, were, you had? ¿Qué, ¿Qué recomendaciones tienes? ¿Qué libros estabas estudiando? ¿Qué, qué le recomiendas leer? I, um, I read a lot of philosophy, of course, the less, uh, and Watari. I don't know if you know who are uh, them. I will write you here. And of course, to if you are interested in in the actual world, you must read, oh, of course, Foucault. Michel Foucault, all are uh, French philosophers from, I don't know, 30, 40 years ago, who, who made the base of the actual thinking. So, I very recommended. Also, Saskia Sassen is a, um, actual um, urbanist, but socio so so sociology, uh, sure. very good. I think the, the cities, uh, for me, super, super interesting. Uh, and also I like to read, not always the same line. I mean, I'm not worried to understand the way to think of one philosopher. I try to be more intuitive with the, with the reading, you know? Yeah. Uh, that uh, list are very, very powerful. Awesome. So, thank you. Last question. Edgar. <laughs> Can I have uh, one last question? Uh, what is the next step for you, Elian? If there is a next uh, step. For, for this year? For not this year? not necessarily for this year. What is the next step for, for you? Not, not for the year, for you. Good question, good question. <laughs> now I'm trying to survive to COVID, you know? I, I, I feel like a shit right now, but maybe in three, four days I'm, I'm quit. 
Uh, but I am focused in, in writing, you know, and I like the, the, uh, the idea to, to continue writing this year. I published a book, uh, I don't know, two months ago. Uh, it's, a, it's a book with a, a collaboration with a, a, a friend of mine from a criticism from here from Cordoba. And I really want to continue writing because it's a kind of break of painting, you know? And with the, all the situation of lockdown, I feel uh, on exercise. So I, I want to continue writing. I think this, this is my challenge for, for this year. And of course, trying to, to, to get back to the travels and, and working on the street, but not sure what's gonna happen because this shit never, never ends. I don't know. <laughs> That's brilliant. Can you can you write down your books and where we can find it? Maybe. Uh, yes, you can. Oh, but sorry, only in Spanish. I will yeah. give you the the link, Axel, to to download because okay. it's copyleft book, so you can you can download for free. Uh, and please share with with all of them. Uh, the, the book is our reflections about the culture uh, before, uh, during, and past pandemia. Uh, and it's all, all um, a mailing, uh, you know, I don't know how to say. A what? Son, son, dos mails que ah, email. Con mi amigo. Back and forth emailing. Dos mails. Mails. Uh -huh. That's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, okay. Last question, just to close, um, is a corny, <laughs> corny question, but maybe a funny one. Uh, what advice do you give uh, to the class of anything, everything? No me entendiste. Elian. ¿Cómo? <laughs> ¿Qué? Perdón, se me, se me está cortando, amigo, el internet. Sí, no pasa nada. Que la última pregunta es que, qué consejo le das a la clase. What advice de cualquier cosa o lo que sea. Um, difficult, what, but I think the most important is try to find your own voice, you know. Um, after at all, uh, when you you push more the art to make uh, something to like to everyone, you will fail, you know? So try to, to find your own voice is the key to, to make something, to continue learning, to continue experimenting, no? Brilliant. Thank you so much, Elian. Really, really, really appreciate this. Everybody, if you want to touch me or something, write me to my email. I will give you here. Also, um, Axel, no, don't worry, write me, whatever you want. Thank you so much, man. Thank Bye, class. Thank, Thank, Thank you so Bye. much. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.